Thank you. Thank you. Live long, live prosper. <laughs> Love you all. Isn't this something fantastic? You know, in a few weeks, as a matter of fact, next month, Star Trek will be celebrating its 56th birthday. 56 years old. And many of you weren't there when Star Trek was born. <laughs> In fact, most of you are here because you discovered Star Trek and were born after we were canceled. <laughs> it's a real phenomenon and we're very grateful. We never dreamt that we'd have people like this number filling this room 56 years after we began the series. We were proud of the show that we uh, 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 were blessed to, to act in, and we felt that we'd done good work. But after we were canceled, we thought we'd just go on to an, uh, another gig and, and keep, uh, build a career. We had no idea that it would become this kind of incredible, more than half century phenomenon. And that's because Gene Roddenberry, the creative, uh, creator of Star Trek, and the producer, and the writer, and the Renaissance man that Gene Roddenberry was, created a show that was unique and visionary. He said that the strength of this planet, Starship Earth, was in its diversity. And he wanted to make that point to an audience back in the uh, mid-1960s. And he said, let's put the story in the 23rd century and have a metaphor for Starship Earth. He was going to call it Star a Starship Enterprise. And the makeup of the crew of this uh, Enterprise was coming from all over this planet, from Africa, Europe, North America and Asia. And you saw that diversity when you saw the show, because there on the bridge, you saw the representatives. You saw the captain, a North American, played by a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we have the Canadian here. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> We had Europe, that was represented by a Scottish engineer. Uh -huh. We had Africa, represented by an African woman, played by Nichelle Nichols, who just two weeks ago was... She was an extraordinary lady, and we miss her all very much. She was a dear friend. And if you don't mind, I'm going to sit down and talk. <laughs> I just fell out there, not back there in the dark, and my knee is still a little uh, stinging from the uh, fall. But we all represented different parts of this planet's diversity. And Gene Roddenberry's uh, vision was that we are stronger because of our diversity to face a common challenge and to be able to face it for, uh, and see it from different perspectives. This person with this personal history, this person with that culture that he or she comes from, this person with the unique and singular talent that this person has, all of us coming together and working together in concert. And that's what we see out here right now. People recognize themselves in the show. We had a person, a, 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 a navigator, who spoke with a Russian accent. And that's still relevant today, because we have a war going on between uh, with Russia's invasion of the Ukraine. We are diverse. We have different histories. We have different experiences different languages, different cultures. And yet, we have to grow enough to the point where we, we recognize that working together is what's going to give us strength, what's going to give us productivity, make us healthier 
and make our society better. That vision was what you all saw in each of your generations. And that is what gave Star Trek this phenomenon of 56 years and still growing. I mean, yes! Woo! And you guys represent the many generations of Star Trek fans. And, but I can tell who the original fans were. <laughs> I recognize you. The color of your hair. Or the lack thereof. <laughs> As you are layers and layers of generation, Star Trek II now has many, many generations. We have the next generation. And then Deep Space Nine and uh, uh, Voyager, and so forth and so on. Each show with the same philosophy, but with different personalities and different adventures that they faced in the times that they came on. Infinite diver diversity in infinite combinations. IDI, I-D-I-C. Infinite diversity and infinite combinations. And I think that's one of the elements that contributed to Star Trek's uh, continuing success.